Have you ever been in an emotional or physically abusive relationship? Um mm, Does it count if we're not dating? <laughs> hey people, what's up? My name is Julian Roberts and you are watching Not So Secret. I haven't been in an emotionally or physically abu abusive relationship, so it doesn't count. No, I haven't. One down. Okay. Um question two. Who was your role model growing up? Um, I think my dad. I honestly think my dad because that man used to, yo, he used to hustle, eh? He used to hustle hard, he used to buy me chocolate when I wanted chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, my dad, my dad growing up um, was a huge role model. He still is a huge role model of mine. And um, yeah, shout out to you, Mr. Roberts. Let's do down. This question sounds so bad. I thought they were bad. I thought you are going to ask me about my, who do I owe money or something. So. Okay, question number three. What what is the weirdest reason you have ever broke up with someone? I've never broken up with someone. I've, people have broken up with me. I've never broken up with anybody. Do you understand that? And I still don't know why they broke up with me. I've never broken up with anybody. Okay. Did you ever sleep with stuffed animals? Who made these questions? Who made this question? I've never slept with. Yes, oh no, I have slept with a stuffed animal in my childhood. But in my defense, someone put it in my bed, and they left it in my bed. I, I shared a bed with, with with a stuffed animal. I did not sleep with a stuffed animal. I shared a bed with a stuffed animal. So there's a difference. Oh, okay, cool. When you're having a bad day, what makes you feel better? Um, when I'm having a bad day, I think hanging out with with my friends. I've got four, four very, very close inner circle friends. So those people really hold me down whenever I'm bad and all that stuff. So yeah, when I'm having a bad day, I love to be with friends. I'm a really, I'm a really big people person. So I love hanging out with my friends. Also cheesecake. If you can give me cheesecake, then I'm good. Okay. Do you think a relationship can come back from cheating? Uh, for me, ah. Uh, a relationship can come back from cheating. Like I've cheated, no, they've cheated. They've cheated on me. And then we should get back together. I don't know, man. For me, I feel like you, it could. It really could. It honestly really could. It, I feel like relationships are different and it depends the nature of the relationship. You know what I mean? Some people it could, some people it can't. So it's communication. It just depends on communication. So I think that's it. You cheat on me. <laughs> um, have you ever struggled with addiction? Yes, I have. Um, I struggled with chocolate addiction. <laughs> I struggled with chocolate addiction. You guys, I used to sleep with chocolates underneath my pillow. Do you understand that? And wake up at 2 in the morning and like eat my Snickers chocolate and stuff. So I think I have. It's, it's not really a bad addiction, is it? It's not really a bad addiction. I think I have, I have struggled with addiction. But it was a willing struggle, so it wasn't a bad struggle. So chocolate was, was my biggest, biggest struggle, I think. Yeah. Oh, what's your happiest childhood memory? Ah, simple, brah. When my crush finally followed me on Facebook. I think my, my happiest childhood memory was going on our annual family vacations. I know those are memories, but every year we used to go to either a random place, you know what I mean, um, as a family. So, South Africa, uh, Namibia, those are the two favorites, and um, Amaki Roda's house, that was also a good destination to go to because she used to cook, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I think my, my favorite childhood memories, I would say memories were our trips out as a family. What's your favorite holiday? Friday is my favorite holiday. My birthday. That's my favorite holiday. Um, what are your favorite scents? Uh, my favorite scents. What's that? That scent that you smell when you're passing, like by hungry lion. What's that scent? That scent is a good scent. My favorite scent. I don't know. Go get. What did you and your friends do for fun in middle school? First of all. I need to know that my parents are not watching this. 
We used to study hard and pass our exams for fun. That's what we used to do for fun. Ah, uh, no, let's see. For fun, I'll be honest with you. Um, in middle school, my entire high school though, I was a very socially awkward, strange kid. I had two friends my entire high school. Two friends. And uh, I still meet people today. I'm like, hey, remember me from high school? What? And they don't remember me. So I was a really quiet kid. So it's just games. Go to my friend's place, play games, that kind of thing. I, I really wasn't the outgoing um, type. I bet if you told me I would be here talking to cameras and all this stuff, it would be crazy. I wouldn't even believe myself. So yeah. Are you an introvert? Those who recharge by being alone or an extrovert? Those who feel energized from being around other people. I am, um, this is a cool word I learned the other week. I'm an ambivert. So an ambivert is, it's a mixture of both. Like I said, I like how these questions are flowing. So I was an introvert back in high school. Biggest socially awkward kid. It's like I had this need to, to be social but I didn't have the skills to, you know what I mean? So I would see people and I will just go there and do the most weird stuff, you know? Um, so I've always liked being around people, but back in the day I was big on, I was, a, I was more of an introvert than an extrovert. Cause I didn't know how to like maneuver around people. People are weird, so yeah. I think now, um, obviously yeah, I'm doing music and entertainment and all this stuff, but I am just, I'm an ambivert. I like to, I can be with people, but bruh, if it's 16 hours, 18 hours, give me my time, I need to go and recharge, eat some chocolate, you know what I mean, play FIFA. That's what I, I like to just recharge. At an amusement park, what ride do you, <laughs> do we have amusement parks in Zambia? Do we have amusement parks in Zambia, guys? We need an amusement park. At an amusement park? Bruh, I've never been to an amusement park. I'll go on that thing, that wheel. Oh, go on, yeah, that, what's it called? It's a ferris, fer, 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 ferris, fer, ferris wheel, a ferris wheel. I'll go on the ferris wheel, simply because, you know, that's like the romantic wheel where you like go up and it gets stuck. I watch, I watch some romantic movies, don't judge me, you know what I mean? So I'll go on the ferris, fer, ferret, f, f, the, the wheel, I'll go on the wheel. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do on a rainy day? If it's raining, don't, I want to be home, I want a Netflix, I want to eat like food here, I want food here, I want movies here, and I want to just be in my, on my, in my bed on a rainy day. Text my crush maybe, you know what I mean, read a book, that's what I want to do on a rainy day. I don't want to be out, mm, for what? What is the best present you have ever received? Best present I've ever received. You guys, you know what's sad? The best present I've ever received. For the la my last two birthdays, I bought my own birthday cake. Bruh, that's how bad this this gift. People don't give me gifts. Why? Uh, but the best present I've received is. Mm, man. The best present I have received is two shirts from Edgar's. A chocolate bar. It was a really special chocolate bar. And um, that's it. I can't remember right now, but that's it. If you could listen to only one song for the rest of your life, what song would you choose? Happy birthday to you. And that's the song I'll listen to. <laughs> Let me tell you my favorite song right now. My favorite song right now. Um, what's my favorite song right now? It's not even Christian. That song. I put the new fudges on the G. I'm da 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 I'll listen to that, but not for my not for my whole life. I don't know if I'll listen to that for my whole life. Um, I, I'll listen to that song simply because it gives me lots of memories with my close friends. So you know the way they say every song reminds you of like a moment or something. So that's why I'll choose that song. What's your love language? Ah ha ha! My love language is um, <clears throat> my love language is gifts. The top three: um, gifts, acts of service. And um, words of affirmation. If you meet me in public, just give me a gift, do something nice for me, and we'll fall in love. Guys, we've come to the last question. Although we've come to the end, mm, when was the time you laughed the hardest? Mm, when was the time I laughed the hardest? When 
when I pushed my ex girlfriend in a bush by accident. I was a kid, I was young and foolish. And if you're watching this, I won't say your name. I'm really sorry, but that was funny as well. So I won't give you the background story, but um, we're doing this thing, you know, push each other, push each other, by my love, by my love. So she pushed me and I pushed her. But then I pushed her a bit too hard and I was with my friends and she was with her friends. Then she fell in a bush. Like she fell. It wasn't the sexy kind of falling. It was getting big in a bush. I was like, damn. Did I just push my girlfriend in a bush? Then I laughed because my friends were laughing. And then I had to, rec- you can imagine how much damage control I had to do after that. Because I'm like, ah, ah. I've pushed her in a bush and I've laughed. We're still friends, there are no grudges, and um, yeah, I hope she's fine. Uh, yeah, guys, that's it. My name is Julian Roberts, and this has been um, um, what? Not so secret. Guys, and this has been Not So Secret. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my secrets.